EFCC has started inviting those indicted by audit report, Abia government says. <laughs> I'm sure this issue of, uh, you know, a, a, a Ponzi airport or rather a virtual airport that was started by the former governor Okeze Pazo of Abia State and then governor ot came to office they have used all forensic detectives they couldn't find where the airport is located i mean well, who the amount of money had been paid in the scam okay almost 72 companies or thereabouts have collected funds so now governor ot is saying in our probe or in our audit report using the kpmg we are looking for our money we're not looking for people to imprison let them just bring our money back so with the way it is now, KPMG has brought out its report and the report is sent to EFCC and EFCC has started inviting them. I'm sure, uh, where is his name? Uh, Ikpa Azona will be afraid because it, uh, the report indicted Ikpa Azo also indicted all the previous governors of the state. First of all, the 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 allowances and all the money, pension they were collecting from the state, Governor T had to stop it. Uh, they had to the new assembly of uh, the state had to repeal that law and cancel it so no governor will leave office and still be earning pension from the office of that after just four or eight years in the office so now that the report is out efcc has been invited and the efcc is squeezing them now and we're going to start with uh crazy puzzle who actually awarded such um, um, um fictitious contract used it to loot money out and without seeing any airport on ground and they said they were looking even in the air anywhere the airport could be anybody went see making sure that no airport and the huge amount of money had been taken now efcc has started calling them they should get ready to come and answer they should get ready to come and answer okay hmm. so the abia state government says the economic and financial crimes commission has started inviting those indicted by the forensic audit report of the previous administration conducted by the international audit firm kpmg <laughs> i know that um, um governor t being a former bank executive we have access to kpmg we have access everywhere with the best of auditors he has access to them and now he is getting KPMG, one of the best auditors in the world, to come and do that uh, forensic audit for them. And the report is out. Investigation has been completed. So now let them go and answer. That is it. Let them go and answer. This is probing by style. And the same thing Fubara wants to do in River State. Okay? Mwike is going to be probed and nothing will happen. And all the money he has taken from the state, he will, he will vomit them. I don't know they, in fact, uh, let him collect everything that he has stolen from River State. So this is a case of Abia now. Special advisor to the Governor on Media and Publicity, Mr. Ferdinand Ikoma, who disclosed this during a media briefing after the State Executive Council meeting on Monday, said that some of those indicted by the report were already guests of the EFCC. <laughs> now be smart here. So he informed that the audit is not directed at anybody but stated that the actors have the opportunity to defend themselves so the efcc has started inviting those in, in, indicted by kpmg report we are talking of 62 billion naira and not 10 10 naira paid out in a covid 19 year for building a non-existent airport exactly you made transactions even before getting approval for the payment. Instead of being ashamed for doing a despicable thing that they did, they are on the media shamelessly mounting a propaganda. They, know, they won't get out of it now. They will deal with them. Because record is showing. And trust Nigerians, they don't know how to steal. They will just be moving funds without even closing the gaps. They will catch them. So he explained that there was nothing wrong with engaging a reputable audit firm with track record of competence, integrity, and experience to professionally audit the state accounts to eliminate unnecessary doubt. Exactly. Exactly. And that is why they didn't want uh, uh, OT to be governor all these years, 
because they want they they know that from an opposition party he will edit and he will investigate and he will probe. But if they succeed in putting somebody of their own, they can manipulate the person. Just like Mwike thought he will put Mufubara and continue to manipulate Fubara and the things backfiring. The same way um uh Obaseki is trying to put Odalo in a do state so that his back can be covered. The same way the governor of Kogi State, Yayabelo, put uh, Usman Ododo so that his back can be covered. That is what they keep doing, both at federal and state levels. But sometimes it backfires. Like this of Abia is backfiring, the one of uh, uh, River State is backfiring, and uh, you know the one of Edo backfired between Oshomole and Obaseki, and the one of Obaseki is trying to do it with Odalo is obviously going to backfire as well. A comma challenged those who felt exposed by the shocking revelations in the report to rather go to EFCC with their facts and clear their names instead of resorting to media war to confuse the gullible with fabricated documents. Exactly. If an uh, audit has been done and they have been invited by EFCC, it is not to go to the media with some reports to start defending yourself in the media. Take your defense and your document to the EFCC and clear your name. And when you are done, it is EFCC that will say you are cleared, not the Facebook, not the not the Twitter, not the YouTube, and not all those social media platforms that will clear you. That is it. Now, now wow, I pity uh, OKZ Pazo because he is probably going to suffer the most as uh, the immediate past administration was under his care. Okay? They still, without looking back, all of them, almost all the governors, I'm telling you, Look at what is happening in River State. For Governor Fubara to say that when he entered office, the IGR was 12 billion. But now since he entered office, he has raised it to 27 billion, additional uh, 15 billion every month. Can you imagine that kind of thing? So, where was this 15 billion when Jibuki was there? He was looting it, busy looting it. And apart from that, when Fubara entered office, said he had access to only 6 billion. So what about the rest? Mwike wanted to continue to eat fat from River State money, even when it's no more the governor. That is why they say they put structure. They put a structure that they will use to continue to loot the state, even when there are no more there. But it can't continue to work. The one of Abia State now, uh, they awarded, awarded contract for an airport that never existed. They even did the transactions even before the contract was approved. Can you imagine all this kind of thing? Eh? So now they are going to pay. And the governor Oti is out to make sure that he gets the money back. Thank you for listening and let's have your comments.